family who work at the caves were kind enough to invite us round for a bowl of bird's nest soup. First, they showed us the kitchen. The nests are soaked overnight and then using tweezers, someone has the tricky task of picking out the feathers, grit and dead bugs. It's, a bit different, isn't it? <laughs> it's very fiddly, isn't it? You couldn't do this like, you know, firm grit and cook yourself a meal in 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Next, they put the nest in the pot, add sweet corn, coconut, and lots of sugar, and hopefully you won't taste the bird spit. Mm. Mm. Actually smells really good. I was a bit nervous. I, I, I still am. Right. Might be a bit like creme brulee. You never know, though. You we know. might get to like it. Yeah. And dinner is served. The culmination of hours of preparation. Jo is still unsure, but at 40 quid a bowl, I'm sure she'll love it. Bon appetit. Orangutans feature heavily in the folklore here. We've come to a Kalazan village where the traditional way of life is still preserved. Everything from preparing food to the music they play is the same as it has been for hundreds of years. And I don't think you're going to find many synthesizers here. It looks really easy, but if you yeah, actually do it, easy. it's really it's not. Because he's got like this little rhythm thing going on. Go, I've got. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. I'm not allowed to. She's got rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got the rhythm of blues. <laughs> <laughs> The Karazan warriors are still able to hunt with a blowpipe. Yeah. There's things a man's got to do. It's a deadly weapon, this. It's a cocktail stick with a bit of paper attached to the end of it. Oh, I've got a drum roll now, nothing, listen. Yeah! It may look like fun, but once, these weapons were serious business. The warriors of this tribe have a bloody history. They were headhunters, and to this day, they keep the skulls of their victims safe in a sacred hut. Now we're going to go and see all the skulls. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, big, big dog. Big dog. Big dog. By cutting off a warrior's head while still alive, they believe they had captured the magical strength of their spirit. In this room of skulls, they say the warrior spirit still lives on. Over 300 years ago, the great warrior chief Monsopiad killed 42 other chiefs in tribal feuding. The skulls were then used in rituals to protect, to heal, and for luck in hunting. This is the bottom jaw of one of those guys up there. And a person used to wear this around their shoulder and stuff, and the bell would attract the spirits to come down and possess them. And then they had to use one of these, which is like a, a spirit boat kind of thing. And they'd sit on the front in their spirit, and that would take them up and to communicate with the other spirits. So it's quite it's weird. You've got to really concentrate and think about it, otherwise you're going to get lost. But um, it's really interesting. It's completely different to everything that we know. So it's a bit of a culture shock. It's a bit spooky as well. Yeah. Well, we'll see you soon. Yeah. See you later. Oh, Take care. We'll Be see careful. You soon. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll okay. see you soon anyway. Alright. Right. Take All care. Right. <laughs> see you later. As the girls sped off to find turtles, I began the difficult search of finding the orangutan. The Sungai Kinabatangan is probably the world's most difficult river to pronounce. It's also Borneo's longest river and a fantastic place to see wildlife. Especially these big-nosed proboscis monkeys, who just love showing off. And it 
it's raining again. <laughs> Joy. It did stop for about 15 seconds. <laughs> Despite the rain, we spotted something furry on the riverbank. These are otters, wild otters. And they're actually really endangered as well. They're pretty cute, but I'm still hoping to find an orangutan. This is amazing. We've arrived at our destination. Wow. Can you believe it? It's so beautiful. Oh my God. Oh. I think we've found paradise here. Hello, Joe. Hello, Gina. I hope you're having a nice time on your beach. The weather's great here, as you can see. Absolutely fantastic. I'm getting a great tan and uh, wish you were here. Mwah. This is gorgeous. We've just stopped off amidst the thunder and the lightning because um, Fernando has found a snake. Fernando, what type of snake is it? Okay, they are just uh, water snakes. Normally, you find them in small tributaries that are leading up to the main river. And is, is it venomous? If they bite you, if they release the venom, then it might even uh, kill. Or if it uh, just bites you, just to scare you off, then you don't have any problem with it at all. <laughs> 